Hi, Shelly here with the enameled cast iron set. And I want to start with the Dutch oven, which is a six quart piece and it's extremely versatile. So here's a few of the things that makes um, enameled cast iron popular. First of all, um, it works on most cooking surfaces, including induction cooktops because it's magnetic, um, because it's iron. <laughs> so um, it is prettier than cast iron and easier to maintain because you don't have to season it because it's enameled. Um, and so whether you, uh, you know, are baking in the oven with it or you are cooking on the stove top, it'll take heat. Um, it takes, you know what I didn't check? Uh, it takes up to 500 degrees. There we go. And so uh, you can do all of your artisan breads in the Dutch oven. You can do casseroles, you name it, roasts, everything. And because it has, it's iron, it's very heavy and it has really deep heat. So it'll retain its heat really well and brown really beautifully. Now, one of the things that's unique about all of our pieces is that each one has handles, like handles on both sides, so it's easier to hold and carry. Um, and so you can see they all have, if you need to hang or want to hang them, they all are hangable as well. So one of the things about the lid uh, is that it is self-basting. You can see these. So it basically uh, attracts the, con the, the, the evaporating liquids um, or condensing liquids, I should say, and then into a point it'll drip back down and self base So it's the easiest way to make a roast in the world. And then you can do your gravy on the stove top, it'll brown. It's a beautiful thing. So this is the six quart Dutch oven. Now this one, it's shallower and um, a little bit bigger in the surface area and it is the covered skillet. So Again, the handles, I forgot to mention this, we made this handle really easy to uh, use securely even with an oven mitt because that can get a little bit clumsy on some um, other brands and so it was, a, it was a thing that we wanted to solve in this one and we did a good job of it. This one also is a very easy um, and secure knob because um, it's also metal and it has the self-basting lid as well. I use this one the most uh, because I do roasts in it and so I just uh, dry age and uh, salt my meat in advance in the fridge and then I throw it in here, put the lid on and put it in the oven and turn the oven on. No liquid, no browning in advance, no nothing. Um, and then I leave it until it's, it's uh, like a pot roast until it's starting to brown. You can smell it in the oven. You can always check, but the edges, all these edges will brown beautifully and you'll get a little bit of juice left and then you'll baste, you know, you'll say, you'll basically clean all that off into your gravy, make gravy right in the pan. And it's like the easiest, most tasty roasts, pot roasts. So I use this one a ton. This is the covered skillet. The other two pieces that are uh, popular as open pieces are the one quart and the two quart, um, what are they called? One quart, one quart, <laughs> the name, cast iron baker. One quart enameled cast iron baker. There you go. One quart, two quart. So these are great for gratins, uh, bakes, casseroles, Anything that you want to start it on the stovetop or just bake it in the oven, you can use it under the broiler too. Um, it's just a great versatile piece. This one will fit in the deluxe air fryer and make little roasts or little, um, you know, uh, what do you call them? Crisps, that kind of thing in there. So really popular, really versatile. Okay, the big daddy I'll finish with. This is the roasting pan. We nicknamed it the Rostania pan because it makes an amazing, huge lasagna um, or you know, meatballs or roast or turkey dinner or whatever. It's 14 inches long, it's 10 inches wide. The rounded square uh, corners, there is a removable dishwasher safe, of course, um, rack for the bottom. And it is, excuse me, it's four inches deep really nice and deep. The thing is heavy, so it's nice and deep. 
and it looks like I need to clean this one. So speaking of cleaning, I solved that. Um, what I do if it starts to get seasoning on the outside of it is I heat up a little bit of vinegar in the microwave just till it's hot, warm, warm, not hot, just warm. And then I uh, have a little pile of baking soda and I'll put the baking soda on there, take a paper towel, dip it in the warm vinegar and put it on the baking soda. It'll, it'll you know, it fizzes up and then I just scrub it and it comes off really easily. So that was, that's what I found worked really easy. It's cheap. You have all the ingredients at home and it's an easy way to clean up any seasoning that um, comes on it. It does go in the dishwasher as well. I don't dishwasher, uh, I don't put mine in the dishwasher. I just hand wash them. I find they clean really easily. Um, so there you go. So really popular, very versatile, deep, beautiful heat, a gorgeous, you know, color that goes in pretty much every kitchen and um, really popular items. I hope you try one or two or the whole set.